Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, April 16th. Keep in mind that this this energy is fluid, so you know this is what I'm picking up on today. You may have already felt this or you may be feeling it in the next coming days. Or it could, you know, it could actually be today, you know, whenever it resonates. Oh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about getting creative, finding your confidence and your courage to do something. Okay. Oh, there's a, could be somebody from your past that you run into or you come in contact with somehow. Wow. So we have this, we have Aries here. We have Aries here. You could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody that maybe you knew as a child. Maybe this person um, has just gone through a divorce or a split. I don't know where that's coming from. Does it, it can be any sign, okay? But I feel like there is some sort of run-in with somebody that you may have known a long time ago. man or woman. There's definitely some options here, okay? There's something as funky as going on, okay? There's something that is hidden behind the scenes. There's an error uh, or a feeling of mystery today, like it's very mysterious. There's a, there's a lot of confusion today about whatever's happening. Okay, so if maybe somebody is called to really remain focused and concentrated during this confusion that they're going through, okay? Because here we have a couple of confusion cards. Change is on the horizon. Somebody is taking the next step in regards to uh, giving or letting go of a situation. That's what it looks like to me. They're trying to make the right choice because we have choices here. Yeah, somebody has to make a, make a choice in regards. I think what, whatever's going on here there's a feeling of I don't know what to do now. Maybe you're maybe you run into somebody and there's a, there's an attraction that you can't deny, but you can't uh, you, you know there's only two in a partnership, not three. So I feel like I feel like there's a a feeling of Somebody needs to make a decision what they want to do now. Okay, some there's been some sort of attraction that has come about perhaps today or in the recent past or in the near future that comes up with somebody from your past and now you have to make a choice. And it's a confusing choice because you don't know what's going to happen. Okay, there's a there's a feeling of, you know, you have to take a risk here. You have to Accept that this is going to be a mystery and really accept that, okay? There's a feeling of, I, ha I understand that I'm not going to know what the outcome is, but I have to do this anyway. And it feels like you have to choose for the right reasons. Maybe whoever this person or you, one of the people, has to decide where they're, what they're going to do based on love or assets. That's what it looks like to me. Do you move on towards what, who, who you love or do you... 
stay where there is things, you know what I mean? So there's things to be dealt with, you know, assets, possessions, stuff like that. I feel like somebody is has been really dissatisfied where they're at and perhaps they they run into somebody that really opens their eyes and says, you know what, this isn't really for me anymore. I'm I'm I want to be like that person or I want that person or you know, somebody comes to some conclusion that they've been living in confusion. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like to me. And so I feel like somebody may make a decision to restore control over their lives. Take back control. Okay. I feel like I feel like we're dealing with someone uh, uh probably a fire sign that has been really dissatisfied in their lives and they decide to take the next step, which could be in your direction, okay? I feel like there is some sort of discontent that pushes someone forward. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. There's a lot of... Um, attraction I believe between two people today a lot of uh, attraction that is really undeniable okay I think somebody is letting go of something they are letting go perhaps of a a relationship or something or the, their assets you know they're, they're moving towards love instead of wherever they've been maybe they're choosing love over things okay I feel like somebody is giving up on a situation so that they can move towards a more fruitful situation that's what it looks like to me I feel like somebody had been stalling because of the fear, because of the fear of the unknown. They were stalling the break, stalling the move, you know, because of their, their fear of the unknown, because of their fear of, oh, what if I make the wrong decision? But I feel like today or in the recent past or in the near future, someone decides to take the leap. They decide to take the next step and let go of the things and head towards love okay love becomes the main focus here that's what it looks like to me because to me this card is love or or assets okay so somebody has to make a choice and this is making a choice too to take the next step so i feel like somebody finds their inner power because we have the infinity sign they find their inner power to take the lead in their own life and you know where they had been stalling moving forward They've come to this conclusion now that they've had this run-in with this person that opens their eyes that this is what I want. This is really what I want. So I feel like they they may, you know, see this new exciting opportunity that pulls them in that direction so much that they can't they can't stay where they've been. Okay? I feel like there could be a new suitor. They have a new there could be a new suitor that enters that you have more in common with than whoever it is that you were stuck with. You know what I'm saying? There's a new there's a new person that is more suited for you. So I feel like you may you know, whoever this is, whoever this is for, somebody may be deciding to leave a situation that is no longer content, that they're no longer committed to, and they don't need to hold on to this false foundation any longer, knowing that they have a better match out there for them. So I feel like today is a day of making the decision, making the decision after stalling for a period of time, to release and take the next step. That's what it looks like to me.
somebody has been fearing this release. They've been fearing this, this ending, not knowing if it was the right move. But I feel like today there could be some sort of memory or run-in that pushes them to make the move. Okay. Yeah, somebody has been holding on to something that I don't want to hold on to anymore. I don't deserve, I deserve more and I haven't been getting what I deserve. And I can't play games anymore. This has been a game and I'm sick of the games. I don't want to play the games. I have to let this go. It's too heavy for me. I can't pretend that I like this anymore. I feel like there there could be another person or circumstance that was blocking whoever this was from moving forward that is now being let go. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So that you can have wish fulfillment. I feel like somebody has really learned a lot through life experience and perseverance and past hurts that now they want nothing less than wish fulfillment. I will not settle for less. I cannot settle for less. I have to let you go or something go because I know there's somebody better for me out there. You may know who this person is. There could be this run-in that opens your eyes and that's, my, that's the one. I know that's the one. We have the high priestess reversed. Wherever you've been, there's been a loss of self. Somebody has lost their self in the shuffle and busyness of life. And they've let fear and mystery hold them back. And I feel like today is a day where they possibly let go of these burdens and responsibilities and really look at life. Somebody's been too busy. They've been so busy that they've been letting life pass them by and they've been cho making choices in the wrong direction. That's what it looks like. So I feel like, and this is the busyness. I've been so busy that it really hasn't been my focus and today perhaps the focus comes back as you run into somebody that sparks your interest and opens your eyes or you see somebody that's to a couple that's in love or whatever and it switches from not being happy to I want that so I'm gonna go find that perfect partner and you could run into that perfect partner today. It could, or tomorrow, or you may have recently, because like I said, time is fluid. Somebody has decided that they are not going to stay in a situation that is not fulfilling their wishes any longer. I'm just going to get one of these. Somebody is letting go of stress. They're letting go. That's the nine of swords. They're letting go of stress. They're letting go of anxiety. They're letting go of depression. They're letting go of guilt. They're releasing. So that they can be happy again. Bringing happiness back to their lives. By letting go of the mental conflict, letting go of the stress. I, I, I'm not going to live in this stressful state anymore. It's time for me to move on. So I feel like somebody is deciding to choose a different direction after stalling for quite some time.
take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into a decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you received care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. And this is exactly what has happened. Somebody has lost their self, like I said earlier, with all the busyness of life. And perhaps today or tomorrow or whenever, they come to this realization that I now I know what I need. Now I know what I need to do. Now I need to be cared for with the Six of Pentacles reversed. Now I need to receive. receive. It's time for me. So I feel like this is a day where there's like a shift and somebody decides to put their needs first. Caregivers often focus all of their attention on their loved ones and often, often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. I feel like today is the day where that is, it comes to light. I matter. That's what I have. Talk to you later.